and welcome to another jam-packed episode of the All Things Ukrainian Online Pasanki Classic Tutorial. This is episode four, and today we've got a great show for you today. Today we're going to make the Pasanki. This is the design you'll be doing today. It has pine boughs and uh, ram's horns. It's great. You have a great time making that. The items you'll need in today's show are the egg that you made in episode 3 with the quadrant lines. You'll need a candle with a candle holder or some sort of flame. You'll need a barbecue drill grill igniter hickey to, to, to light it. You need a clothespin, a standard wooden clothespin. You'll need a kiska and a black a block of some black bead or just regular plain beeswax. You'll need three dyes. Today we'll be using, I'll be using yellow, scarlet, scarlet, and black. You also will need a jar of uh, pure white distilled vinegar and a tub, an empty butter tub with clean fresh water and a slotted spoon which you can get at a dollar store and, and the egg drying stand that we made in episode one. We're going to need all this. This is one of the eggs that we had and it has the, uh, the basic eight four quadrants drawn on there. And what we're going to do first is draw the white lines. Whatever the color of the egg is when you're drawing with wax, that is what the color will be on your finished pisanka. You always to try to start at a joint or where lines cross. So, I'm going to start there and just go. You make quick, short movements, and I like to put my little finger on the edge of the egg and as a guide. And there you have it. All the white lines. Now one thing you have to do when you're working with blown eggs you have to cover up the hole that you use to blow out the egg. If you don't, you'll get dyes coming inside the egg, and that's not good. So, what you want to do, this is really simple. Take your wax and pinch off just a little piece, about the size of that hole. <clears throat> and then stick it in the hole. Don't push it real hard, you don't want to break the shell. Just stick it there. Just enough to where it's just sticking sticking out like that. Then take a hot kiska and melt that plug all around. And that seals the hole. After you're done with the white, we want to put it in a, a bath. And what we use is vinegar. We don't want to scrub or, or rub the egg. What we're going to do is we're just going to put it in, in, in pure white distilled vinegar. And just for a little bit here. And since since the egg is hollowed out, it's going to float. So what we do is we take a spoon, take a slotted spoon, push the egg down, like so, and take a clothespin. And clothespin. I don't know if you can see it on there. The egg's been in there for about three minutes, and you start to see these, these bubbles forming on the egg. That's really all that you need, like that. And we want to put that in the yellow dye. So now we have our yellow egg. Everything we draw on the egg now will be yellow. So the design that we're going to draw next are the pine boughs. The pine boughs are going to represent long life because they are from an evergreen tree. To draw the pine boughs, first draw the stem. Start at, again, we start at an intersection and we're going to draw about halfway out to the middle of each of the quadrant. So I'm just going to go down the pine bough. And I'm just going to make what my wrist is drawing is straight lines, but it's going to be at a right angle to the to the uh, to the stem. So I'm going to come down and draw our three dots. And draw my line. And again, turn the egg. And draw my nifty little. Turn it 90 degrees. Start at the next intersection, and you want to go in the same direction. So start there and. Now we need to do the top and the bottom. It doesn't really matter where you start. You pick, pick start at, again, you start at the center. And up to there. And that's our second color, is the pine boughs in yellow. 
drop it in. Take the slide spoon. Close pin. And wait five. Out of the red die. Start at an intersection point, and then you want to fill the entire area with, with the ramp point, just like so. Flip the egg over, start at the other side, and continue that line. So, that's one ramp point. And you want to do that on every intersection. And then we have our second color, all our ramp points. Final color is just going to be the, the what it's going to cover everything else that's left, and what we want is a very very dark color, and we're going to use black. And that's the final egg. The next step would be to take off the wax. Hi, we're back in the Eggman's kitchen again. We take, we're going to take our pisanki that we've done all our work to. We have it on our egg stand. We're going to place it on our cookie sheet with a some tin foil. And we're going to put it in the oven at 200 degrees and watch that old wax just peel off. Put your finished egg in the oven. Put it in the center right by the window so you can watch it. Watch all the wax just come right off. Now that your egg's all licked with wax, take it off your stand and just it off. Nice and clean, no soot marks. Excellent. Even though we didn't have a really good black, it's still pretty. There are no bad pizza. Well, that's it for today's show. We are so glad that you came. And again, as always, you can find all your Pisanki supplies at www.allthingsukrainian.com or www.buyatu.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you in episode five. Go for bunch of you. I'll show you in episode five how to put the varnish on your pisanki.